Hi, I'm Noelle Hyman with paperclipping.com. We are at the Sizzix booth. We're going to see their brand new machine called the Eclipse. It's a die cutting machine, right? Yes, electronic it's an electronic. Die -cutting. Okay, why don't you show us how this works and what it is? Okay, I'd be glad to. We're happy to uh, launch this product at the show. Right now, it is a uh, cutter system along with a controller. This is the controller. Inside the controller, we have a nice sleek design. Everybody's probably familiar with it. It kind of looks like a, you know, a, a hand controller for games. We have a cartridge that slides right in, so we're going to slip that out. We're coming out with 13 cartridges. When you install that, it automatically goes into a folder mode. Now these folders show you categories of uh, what you want to cut. So we're going to actually go down to the flowers folder. You control the screen with this D-pad, directional pad, and then this D-pad actually controls the cutter. So right now I already have set up pre-settings that show you that we're cutting cardstock, heavy cardstock, and that I placed on my cutting mat here in multiple colors. So again, I'm going to select the flowers category. I will see all my flowers that are on the cartridge. I'm going to select this shape, and I'm going to edit the size. I want to make probably a five inch, a five inch shape. So I could either cursor up on this, or I can slide this keypad and use my numbers on, on the keypad. So I'm going to go to number five because that's a lot quicker. I'm going to hit OK. And then I, I don't want to change the quantity, we just want to only cut one, so I'm just going to exit out of my edit mode, and we can go straight into cutting. By, placing, by pressing the cut key, it will start cutting. There we go. There we go. So now while that's cutting, you've got this really nice bag that I'm hearing about. Oh yes, it's quite the rave. Okay, let's My wife look. wants the bag right away. When oh. I brought it home, she said, oh, I want that. It's oh. nice and neutral. Let's take a look. Here we go. Um, inside the bag, we, we basically designed this, obviously, for the Eclipse machine. So inside there, we have straps. Sorry about my toolkit. <laughs> we have straps. We have pockets that the controller fits exactly in there, nice and padded for safety of the uh, LCD screen. The straps hold down the machine so it doesn't have a lot of vibration. And again, we have a lot of pad. We have pockets in the front for the accessories such as tool kits, um, the, full, uh, the cartridges, the wiring, and also the um, uh, cradle. All right. Why don't we go back to the die cut, and then we got, you've got something else to show us, too, after that that goes with it. Yes. Now, what we want to do is I'm going to show you the, the uh, project that we made over here. So I'm going to peel that off so you can see how easy that was. Again, these dots even come right off. So this is a project that we want to make. We noticed that most of our customers, they don't want just one color. They want to actually cut out multiple colors and they layer them to add embellishments to their final project. So we're going to show you what the Eclipse did on, on helping the crafter. Uh, basically what we're going to do is our artist already separated all of the shapes. So on that you notice that there's leaves, there's buds, there's the stem, the flower, the pollen area. So in these features that we have on the screen here that I'll show you, again there's a pieces. So we're going to come from this screen over here and move over to this side with this toggle button. And then we're, it went to a shadow mode because that's the first selection. I don't want a shadow, I want to go down to the pieces. So I hit OK and there's all the pieces separated that the artist actually did. So right now I want to cut all three of those flowers. So I'm going to move down to my pink material and cut the shape. Again, I don't have to resize, I don't have to think about it. We leave the size, we leave the quantity alone and we're going to add this to the queue. So let me show you that because we want all three cutouts and they're different size shapes. So it's, what's pretty unique about this is we can actually add to a queue different sizes and different quantities based on whatever we want to do. So we're going to hit the plus button and it shows up there. Then we're also going to cursor over to the next size flower. And I'm going to go into that edit mode because I want two of those flowers because I noticed that we have two. So I go down and hit quantity. And I just press the up key once. I get my quantity two. And that's it for the setup. Oops, my bad. I forgot to add that to the queue. Very easy. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to move down to our pink 
paper. There's two speeds on this cutter. One, I'm going to press once. You'll see how slow it moves. If I press like a double clicking of a mouse, one, two, you see how fast that is. So now I want to go back over here because I'm trying to save as much paper as I can. So I'm going to go nice and slow and I'm going to move my origin point, that's the center of the blade, to the best possible location on the top left corner. That's where we always cut. So now I just hit my cut button back on the, key, on the uh, controller. So I press that and it goes back into cutting. So you were able to tell it which direction to go to your paper. Yes, um, basically all of our shapes are designed that it starts in the top left corner of a shape. So for example, here's a shape that we cut out earlier. The start point is always right here and then it starts cutting down. So it'll always cut down just like we did it to help people read. They start from the left, go to the right, and they go down. So right. that's exactly what we did. And so, so we've got our flowers. Flowers here. cut out. So what we can do is let's move this out of the way just to grab a few so you can see what we're doing. And how again, how easy it is to take these flowers off. And then this would just now overlay. I'm going to stretch over here. We're going to overlay, and you'll see that if I uh, figure out which way it goes, it fits exactly over the shape. So it stays in proportion to your project. Awesome. Okay? Now we can cut the other shapes very easily doing the same thing that we can align and move things over. But some people don't like to lay on top of their project. They want it just to cut out the stem. So what we're going to do is, this is a nice little paper saver feature that we're going to do on here. I want to still use this piece of paper. So I'm going to unload this just to show you what I'm talking about. I can either unload with a button here or on the button on the cutter. And I'm hoping that this stem pick will fit inside here. And there's a nice little feature on our Eclipse that we can actually locate it before we start cutting. So we don't ruin paper because it's midnight, I don't have time to go to, this, to buy some more paper. Plus, I am a very thrifty person, so my wife tells me. So what we're going to do is we're going to move over again. We're starting at the top left corner before we actually do it. So I'm going to move again, go with my fast speed. And I'm guessing about right there will fit. So now I'm going to go to my controller and I'm going to just select the stem. So I'm going to push this button until my stem shows up. So again, before I press cut, because I don't want the possibility of ruining the paper, I'm going to follow. There's a pinpoint laser beam that shows up directly underneath this little box. So it will move over, and when it turns on, that's what's replicating where the die blade is going to actually cut. So we're going to press this button here at your pre-cut preview. So we're going to press that, and you will see a little red... Oh, Look at that, I would have went off my paper. So I know. So right did you now, stop it then? Yes, I can stop right now because I already know that it's off. Um, I'm going to keep watching it because then I'll know how far to move. Oops, I have also quantity too, sorry. <laughs> but we can stop it and I know how far I need to move over. So I'm guessing that was about a half of an inch. Okay, so that little red laser light that we saw, that's to let you know if you're in the right place or not. Correct. So right. right now, I'm going to move it. I'm going to show you how easy that is. So we're going to move in the slow position about a half of an inch over. About there. So before I start, I'm sorry about this, but I'm going to change my quantity just because that was a waste of our time. Okay, I'm back to quantity one. That's how easy it is. Okay, so now I'm going to hit it again, the laser. And now let's see if we go off our paper again. Whoa, how close was that? It looked a little too close for me. So, and I notice I still, ooh, real close there too. So I think what I better do is move down a little bit. Okay, that's really interesting that, so you just kind of figure, you move it around a little bit till you know that you're in a good place for it. Yes. And then once you know, you let it, have it cut. Then now you cut, and it will cut exactly where that laser beam was going. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, so this is the Eclipse. Eclipse. With Sizzix. Yes. I'm Noelle Hyman with paperclipping.com.